Well, good morning, uh, enthusiastic Steve here, and you join me again on top of one of my favourite sp uh, hilltop spots, um, Portsdown Hill, <clears throat> right by the old uh, monument here, you can sit outside the window, and um, I'm here to do a little test on the uh, four metre band using that debunked antenna, the one nobody really thinks should work, the one and a quarter wave antenna. This is a fairly good location to actually do some uh, antenna testing on. It's fairly open. Uh, they're almost on top of the hill. Pulls down here, here. Uh, a little bit of glare from the sun. Let's move around a little bit. But the uh, hill itself is uh, not quite flat, unfortunately. It does rise up. The hair. I need a haircut. Uh, the, ha the hill does rise up to the uh, east. So it's a little bit blocked that way. But generally, behind me, south southwesterly direction, uh, looks across to the Solent behind me, the Isle of Wight, the beautiful Isle of Wight is behind me there, about five or six miles away. Southampton, the Port of Southampton is that way. Port of Portsmouth is this way. Uh, Portster, the Roman Roman town, old Roman town is just below us there with a 2,000 year old Roman castle. Um, and we've got the old monument here to old uh, Lord Nelson. But uh, quite a historic area actually, we've got an actual fort. There was a fort just behind me here as well, a Palmerston Folly as it's called, Victorian forts. Um, so very historic area, but a great area for playing radio. And uh, we're fortunate we've got a lot of radio operators in the local area. Now this morning I'm going to go onto the 4 meter net and we're going to experiment with uh, three antennas. Uh, a quarter wave antenna, and let's move around a little bit more there. Uh, a quarter wave antenna, a three quarter wave antenna and a one and a quarter wave antenna. Now I've been doing some antenna modeling this week using some professional uh, antenna analyzing equipment and uh, it's interesting to see the actual RF patterns and hopefully this little experiment will demonstrate and prove um, what those patterns show me. Now I have got some expectations for the antennas. Um, let's just see how they actually come out in real life because sometimes when you model things they don't necessarily work out in the real world to be exactly the same so let's give it a go beautiful warm up here this morning actually a little bit too warm but uh, as you can see it's a lovely uh, lovely location Nelson's monument right by me tribute to uh, Nelson on the flagship Vegas victory or Lord Nelson so why did I say uh, debunked in the title well it's often said to me don't use three-quarter wave or one and a quarter wave antennas those big antennas are useless they're basically cloud warmers they send the RF energy up into the clouds, wasting it, not going out where you need it. They don't work. Well, um, this video and this little test really is to demonstrate or disprove that theory. Now, I did a quick comparison with a quarter wave antenna, a three quarter wave antenna and a one and a quarter wave antenna on the four meter band this morning on the four meter net. As a comparison, really I compared them to the quarter wave antenna as a benchmark because the quarter wave antenna is a nice, useful, well proven antenna. It works, okay, um, but it has limitations. A 5 8 wave would probably be a decent antenna to use if one existed, um, but with 5 8 wave antennas, as you're most of you are aware, they're awkward to, well, not awkward, but you have to match them. They're not a resonant antenna, therefore, you have to match them. And to manufacture one with coils and or stubs uh, for use for mobile use is a little bit difficult. So the great luxury between a quarter wave, a three quarter wave and a one and a quarter wave is they are all resonant. They VSWR tune up lovely, um, but it's the RF patterns you get from them. Uh, and we're gonna have a quick look at that. I was very fortunate and was allowed access to play with some uh, professional laboratory modeling equipment. Some of you may already be familiar with this one. This is the RF pattern from a quarter wave antenna. A quarter wave antenna is a decent performer overall. I've had to draw an example of a three quarter wave RF pattern. And as you can see by this, the, the it's got some good low lows, but there's also some quite a bit of energy going upwards. Hence why it's called a cloud burner or cloud warmer. 
But in the real world, is it really that bad? Now this one is the RF pattern of a one and a quarter wave antenna. This time you can see not as much RF going upwards as the three quarter wave, and not as rounded as a quarter wave antenna, and with still some useful lobes coming out uh, all around it omnidirectional. Though some of you might note that the actual lobes are not as prominent as the three quarter wave. This just proves you cannot beat the laws of physics. Um, the antenna is over one wavelength long, one and a quarter. You've got to put more energy in it to get less out. That is why a quarter wave antenna is such an efficient antenna. And here is the line representation of that one and a quarter wave antenna shown a sliced profile. The quarter wave antenna was a standard one from a manufacturer, pre-made. For the three quarter wave I use an MFJ1979 telescopic whip antenna. This extends to over 16 foot. To achieve a three quarter wave on the test frequency of four meters I extended it to approximately 10 foot long. And now for the big one. This is a full one and a quarter wavelength antenna on four meters. Using the MFJ 1979 telescopic whip antenna, I extended it fully. So that meant it was up to about approximately 16 foot and nine inches. This gave me a VSWR across the narrow four meter band of one to one. <laughs> it was almost having a pile up. I had a job to get hit. I had a job to get hit with. I thought, he's ignoring me, he's picking off the distance stations. I can hear quite a few of them, that's the, that's the thing. I can hear quite a few of the stations coming into him, but uh, there we go. <laughs> Uh, anyone else out there this morning? All right, thank everybody for the net this morning. It's been very useful indeed. I've got some good results there, some good figures back from all the locals. I'm now going to go back and analyse those and then compare them with the RF patterns and see what they actually, they actually are in real life. So what I've done, I've actually looked at all the, my TX and all RX figures uh, spread over the net this morning. And I've done it on a quick little plot onto a Google Earth map showing the extent of how far my signal was getting this morning. Um, as you can see, it gets out very well to the west and the southwest. No, hardly anywhere to the east because of the uh, local terrain. Stations that I could hear and I could be heard by were as far as 42 miles away down towards Swanage. And uh, stations on the other side of Salisbury, about 31, 32 miles away. And everywhere else in between, down to the Isle of Wight in the south and up on the other end of Portsdown Hill. Unfortunately, you say, the terrain actually blocks me going out any further in the east or northeast direction. I will compare my figures and look at the TX and RX figures for the three types of antennas and show them on the next map. I will try and keep this as simple as possible. Um, I'm using the uh, signal meter on my radio for receive uh, reports and I'm going to call them S points. So if every point up, every signal strength, there'll be an S point. Pretty basic in layman's terms, but to work, it should get a good comparison. So first of all, let's look at our longest distance uh, travelled this morning, down towards Swanage, approximately 42 miles away. Now the signal I was receiving from him on a quarter wave was a 5 by 4, on a three quarter wave it was a 5 by 8, and on the full one and a quarter wave one it was also a 5 by 8. On receive, there's no real difference between a three quarter wave and the one and a quarter wave to that distance. But compared against the quarter wave, that's a full four S points stronger. On transmit, you get a slightly different picture. He was receiving me as a four by two on the quarter wave. On the three quarter wave, that went up to a five by five, a big improvement, but then dropped back down one to five by four on the full one and a quarter wave antenna. Both give a, a good gain over the standard quarter wave and give you between two and three S points stronger. But casting your mind back to the, the RF pattern we showed, it does seem to demonstrate that the actual gain doesn't go out quite as far, showing some drop off at the, uh, at the horizon. So let's have a continue then. The uh, Salisbury contact up here, approximately about 34 miles away. Um, on the receive, quarter wave, it was 5 by 4 3 quarter wave, 5 by 8 
and then again on the one and a quarter it dropped to five by six that was on the receive now on the uh, transmit side of things again from here up to here uh, tx quarter wave was a four by three increasing to a five by five on the three quarter wave and dropping back to a five by four on the one and a quarter wave just shows you again the the actual rf pattern going out to the extremes which i've drawn here in the yellow box tends to drop off slightly the receive still pretty good but the actual transmit are starting you're starting to lose some of that rf because it's actually going up and over the the actual uh, ground station let me draw your attention to the the redded area or the red boundary stations that are not so far out on the extreme so basically not quite on the horizon a little bit further in very interesting this now in southampton over this hairy area here probably approximately probably 12 to 15 miles away um i was a uh, receiving a five by eight on the quarter wave up at this area and then on the three quarter wave and on the uh, full size antenna the one and a quarter wave length they were both completely full box plus 10 db now on my transmit i was being received up here as a five by eight on the quarter wave now the person up here he, had, he was using some nice equipment some uh, very clever equipment and he managed to give me a reading in db now the three quarter wave and the whole four and a quarter wave antennas were 7 dB of gain more than the quarter wave antenna up to him up here. So it really was performing very well. Now the other unusual thing with this is as well, I was talking to stations, now I'm on a slightly raised location up here on, on, a, on a hump. It's called a hill, but it's not that actual high. It's about 350 feet. But down below me, directly below me, in the areas of Portsmouth and Gosport, etc. around there, on a quarter wave, the, uh, it was a 5 by 6 and that was on receive and transmit and as I went up to the 3 quarter wave and the full 1 and a quarter wave ones those signals dropped back for, to a 5 by 5 and then a 5 by 4 so the quarter wave antenna was actually working better very close by so up to about 6 miles away the actual quarter and mainly because it's probably terrain that they were lower than me the RF from the quarter wave actually dropped down to them Whereas the others, the three quarter wave and the one and foot quarter wave antennas, seem to put the more RF out horizontally and not down low. So, horses for courses, as they say. So, have I managed to debunk any beliefs on those antennas? Overall, the one and a quarter wave antenna does work. There are times when it doesn't necessarily work quite as well as a three quarter wave, um, but uh, in other places, again, when it does slightly work better. But the overall thing when they're out of this is the three quarter wave, the old cloud burner. Doesn't necessarily doesn't necessarily mean it doesn't warm the clouds, but from a VHF perspective, uh, where you want a line of sight and and um, RF to go outwards, it does work very well. You could probably beat it, I should imagine, by using a five eighth antenna, but until one becomes commercially available, that three quarter wave antenna is so simple to use. Make it up to about 10 foot in length, stick it on your car, VSWR matches, it works a treat. So for me, the, uh, over a quarter wave antenna, it has massive, massive potential. And it's the, the weapon of choice I use for when I go out on hilltops. Thank you very much again for watching another enthusiastic Steve uh, video. If you've not subscribed, uh, please consider doing so. There's quite a few videos out there now for, uh, and there's more coming. If there's anything that you want to see, please let us know. And if I can get hold of the equipment, uh, I'll give it a test. So uh, 73s, uh, stay safe and uh, thank you for watching.